Hey guys, what's going on? Jersey here back again with another South Park bonus tour video. And again, we're talking a couple of balance changes, not a, not a lot, sadly, but it is the case. Uh, and we do have a new card to uh, talk about very quickly because that is also uh, in the news, uh, apparently this week as well. Uh, and a slight change to chaos mode as well. So a couple of updates in this developer update information. So if you guys are not aware, the developer updates now are every two weeks here for Phone Destroyer. So this is uh, going to be setting up the next two weeks going forward. Uh, so this first one uh, here on screen is showing this coming week. So member berries will be the weekend event. It looks like uh, there will be a couple of 24 hour events at the beginning of the week on Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday and Thursday. There will be a Medicine Woman Sharon mission event uh, that kind of snick, snuck in there. Then there is a chaos mode. It is tournament chaos. Uh, along those lines as well. Not really going to get into that because that's not really the important stuff, but we do have a new card coming, Cyborg Tower, which will be a rare uh, kind of totem tower card for sci-fi. So if you guys aren't aware, uh, the plan from Red Links that was announced a long time ago, this really isn't even a secret, is of course um, the fact that, that tower cards and drones are inevitably going to be in every theme. So right now they're not in every theme. Uh, they're only, uh, I think, two drones right now. Uh, maybe three, if my memory serves. I don't even remember, really, to be honest. But this would be the third tower card that would be entered into the game. So Mystical doesn't have one yet. Uh, neither does Superheroes, but Superheroes really need one. And um, But uh, we do have one, for uh, obviously, for Fantasy and Adventure. Uh, so this would add to that uh, as well for Sci-Fi. So Cyborg Tower, it does have a charge ability, which no of the other towers have that. So another unique feature to this specific tower it will have a charge. We don't know any information about this card. Any, I don't have any gameplay for this card, anything like that. Uh, I will have that most likely from what it sounds like next week before this card goes live. Um, so at this time, sadly, guys, I can't show you what the card looks like. But obviously, I will do that when I have access to that information. Uh, but charge card, triple C attack speed for eight seconds. I don't know if that scales up. I don't know if that... Uh, if there's an aura that it triples the attack speed of everything in the aura of maybe Cyborg Tower, or if it's just specific to Cyborg Tower. Again, sadly, I don't know any of that information until I have the gameplay. So, yeah, uh, kind of briefly talks about the sci-fi theme, latest to SAG 1. Uh, it's a rare card. We'll quadruple its attack speed. Quadruple. It's a mistype there, Toller. He says triple on the card, but says quadruple. There. That's why I need card. This is why I need. Why I need stuff. This is why I need gameplay. All right. Uh, this will allow you to give enough need boost to the defenses. The odds are in your favor, allowing you to hopefully turn the tide. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's just gonna keep opening that. Cool. Good job, Drew. Don't even edit that out. Just leave that in there for for the for the people to you know think this is quality, high quality content that you're seeing here on the internet. Um. So. There is going to be a change as well, uh, kind of discussed very briefly with Chaos Mode. So we've decided to boost all new kids uh, to level 14 while in Chaos Mode. Uh, and that will be permanent. So that will start the second week from what it sounds like. I don't know if it starts this first week. Uh, maybe it will start this next week. Again, I don't really play Chaos Mode, guys. I mean, how many times have you seen me play Chaos Mode? A handful of times total since, since its existence? Um, there's kind of a reason for that. It's because I don't really think Chaos Mode is that great, and, and that's just my personal opinion. But there is something very exci exciting to some people for next week's Chaos Mode. Not this coming Tuesday, so tomorrow, or not this coming Wednesday, which is be two days from when I'm recording this. The following week, so I guess date-wise, if that matters to you, uh, it will be on the 8th of June will be when this chaos mode will matter to you and that will be that you can get copies of cyborg tower from completing the chaos mode or getting to certain tiers of the chaos mode i do not know if that's the first time you complete the tier or if that's permanent all the way throughout that you can get that every single time but uh there will be mixed up rewards this time around we're going to be having copies of the new tower up for grabs one copy from tier three, two copies from tier six, three copies from tier nine, and six from tier twelve. Um, so yeah, 
if you guys really want some of the cyborg tower action maybe that chaos mode will be for you because you will be able to get free copies of the new card well before the weekend event which would be then the next i guess technically the chaos mode will end on thursday and the weekend event would start on friday but there you go if you guys want some copies of cyborg tower if that's something that tickles your fancy you get some free copies of it so there you go um, again, I don't know if that's one for one-time rewards or multiple rewards. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And the upcoming balance changes, boys and girls, you see how long it is? Really long. Lots of changes. Tons of changes coming to Photo Destroyer, per usual. Uh, so Mecha Timmy getting a nerf. Um, I'm going to be honest. Mecha Timmy's been getting a lot of hate over the course of years. Um, not, not hate by the community, hate by the fact that he gets nerfed all the time. Like, I get that Mecha Timmy is one of the, arguably, the most powerful sci-fi card. He is definitely one of the most powerful sci-fi cards. I'm not saying he is the strongest. But he is extremely useful. Um, so his time, so he's getting an adjustment to a nerf to his time between attacks. So his DPS is going down 11%. They're increasing how fast he attacks. It is now going to be 13% higher. And his health, he's losing 20% of his health. Now... He could already be lightning bolted at one level higher than what Mecha Timmy was. I don't know what this health nerf will do. Will that make him more susceptible to die to poison faster? Obviously, he'll die to things a little bit quicker. I don't think Arrow Storm will cancel will kill him now or anything like that. Maybe it will. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Maybe that was the focus to make Arrow Storm have more value. Um, I don't really know if Arrow Storm, I like say, assume Arrow Storm one level higher than Mecha Timmy would kill him in one hit. That would be kind of insane and would make Arrow Storm extremely valuable. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see again. I don't really know if that's going to be able to affect that in that way. But again, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but Big Misky Murph is getting some love, which is kind of interesting. Uh, he gets a 25% health buff and he can now stun towers with kids on them. So obviously, uh, I think that's kind of more, you know, discussing Castle Defender, right? But Castle Defender's unit that it spawns, the Crusader, technically still a kid unit, so technically you would still stun it. So uh, I guess that would assume to mean that at some point, towers will not have kids on them? Is that a weird spoiler that Rhythmix is dropping way too early? I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, this is just me spitballing here. This is not any amount of knowledge on this matter uh but yeah there you go big whiskey murph getting a buff uh scuzzle butt's getting kind of a weird buff I, I guess you could say he is uh they are lowering his total cost in energy cost he's going down one from seven to six uh he's also getting a change to where he can hit multiple units uh so he's receiving an energy change the ability to target more than one unit and there's adjustment to health now this that means from what it sounds like, it's not his basic attacks. It's his power attack. Or his power, so basically his death wish, I assume? Power targets, one to three. So it means his power affects three targets now instead of one. If that's true, Scuzzlebutt is freaking meta. Like, Scuzzlebutt's going to be in every deck now. Uh, uh, Scuzzy might be like, there's no way that's right, right? Uh, Scuzzy's gonna be freaking ridiculously strong now. Like, cause his death wish, guys, remember it, you, you don't, you can't be affected by spells and you get a health buff after he dies. Okay, um, I, they're, gonna, they're gonna regret that one if that's true uh i i, I again we'll have to wait and see in in theory am, am i wrong am i reading this wrong am i looking into this incorrectly because that, that's how it looks on screen look i'll be honest guys i did glance over this before i re started recording this but i'm kind of experiencing this as much as you guys are kind of slightly quickly all righty then um i guess that's what happened here i, I guess we'll have to wait and see um, and then there is one slight change after that. So basically only three card changes. And then last but not least, they are doing a bug where Alchemist Scott was being able to play with the other Scott Malkinsons, aka uh, only one other Scott Malkinson right now in this game, and that's Captain Diabetes. Um, 
So Alchemist Scott was not supposed to be able to play at the same time as Captain Diabetes. That was a glitch. It apparently is going to be fixed, starting with the balance changes uh, coming this coming week. So, so remember, these uh, balance changes should be taking effect tomorrow, I think, or maybe not two weeks. In two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. So, sorry. Uh, these balance changes will be taking effect on the 7th of G. I'm so good. I'm, so, I'm the best content creator out there, I'm telling you. So good. Not even going to edit any of this. I'm just going to throw that out there. All right, so there we go. That is the balance changes. Not a whole lot of anything. I, I, I don't really know. I don't really think feel like I should be shocked or, you know, do anything on, on the lines of trying to pretend that they're going to make any drastic changes to this game anymore, and we're just going to kind of keep playing the same game over and over again. Um, so there you go. Uh, three, three, four, technically, balance changes uh, of some kind. And then we get a new card as well that's going to be coming out um in the follow in the second week of these announcements so it should be coming out the week of june 6th uh through that uh you can also get copies of it in chaos mode that week and of course copies in the weekend event so there you go uh that's all i got for you guys here today uh let me know down below what you guys think of these changes or lack thereof and all that other good stuff here for bone destroyer and what your thoughts and feelings are in the game as a whole maybe if you want uh we can talk about that uh, as well. Uh, I will, I mean, this isn't the only game I'm going to make content for in the future. I mean, I know I'm not making content right now. I'm very well aware of that. Um, the main reason is because I don't feel the need to make content for this game right now. Uh, this game feels very stagnant. It feels like very much you just throw a Band-Aid on it by throwing a new card in every once in a while. Uh, maybe a slight change to the way the game is functioning. And other than that, that's really all they're doing. Um, it's kind of disappointing. It's kind of frustrating as a person that's made content and played this game for over four years now that the fact that this game is kind of just overlooked and abandoned by its own, uh, not really by the developers themselves, but by, I, I don't know. I don't really know who to blame. Uh, it's just kind of frustrating. As I've said many times in these, uh, in these balance updates videos lately, and it was probably not going to change anytime soon. Uh, but like I've said in uh, the, the past, I do plan on making other content for other games at some point. There are other games I'm interested in potentially making content for. Um, but right now, I mean, I'll still make content for this game, still play it periodically. Uh, this will, at some point, this may not be my main game anymore. Um, and I may focus my efforts on something else. Uh, I'm not going to completely abandon it, but I may sporadically, you know, kind of kind of sprinkle it in, but not be the main focus anymore. I, I mean, if, if, the, if the game devs don't, you know, the game doesn't want to seem to update in any capacity or kind of be even fresh in any way then why should i put all my time and effort into focusing nothing that's on this game at all but there you go that's all i got for you guys uh thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoy it and uh, we'll see you in the next one Till then